too late. They start shooting in a week. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. Sayu released the silencing contract that everyone was wondering what it said and what it did, and I have it right in front of me. I will be talking about this in full. First, we're going to go with a DM that was sent, but everything is going to be mentioned in full. This is the uh, actual DM for what we're going to be reading uh, in regards to the Zion Lanza contract. Uh, this is interesting. They say they have to do it by 4 p.m. JST in about an hour. So they sent it to her in an hour and actually had her supposedly look at it and sign it within the hour. Uh, they sent her the English translation of a Japanese document that they sent. Yasuhiro apparently is an agent of uh, Niji Sanji. And it says, thank you for your cooperation. And everything else is now uh, history. So this one is a bit different. From what I'm getting here, this is the contract that they sent to Sayu. This is the exact contract that Sayu received. The exact information that she received in regards to uh, the termination agreement. Uh and things that were um, going to be done here for her. This is the, the one that she said that she had three hours notice of, of getting and that she had to sign <clears throat> within three hours in order for them to split amicably, according to this. Article one, termination of the agreement. Notwithstanding the provisions of Article 22, paragraph one of the agreement, party A and party B agree that the agreement shall terminate on the date of March 10th, 2023. The provision set forth in Article 28 of the agreement shall survive the termination of the agreement. So basically, their main, uh, the main Article 28 of the contract, which is this one over here, <clears throat> which is basically all these articles, all these provisions here will remain in effect as we already know um, that it says here, everything will be remaining in effect. And that's what they're telling her here. Everything in Article 28 will remain in effect. Article 2. Public announcement of termination of the agreement. Party A and Party B agree to publicly announce externally on the corporate website, the anycolor.co.jp, or Twitter and other social media accounts maintained by Party A that this agreement has been terminated pursuant to paragraph one of the preceding article. And the circumstances leading to the termination of this agreement in a text prepared by Party A's reasonable discretion. So what this is saying here is that the public announcement of the termination will be written by party A, which is Niji Sanji in this case. And um, basically it's gonna be on Twitter or, or any social media accounts, including their YouTube or anything like that. And it'll say that it, things have been terminated. Article three, both parties shall not disclose or divulge any third party to any third party. The fact that they have been entered into this agreement, the reasons for entering into this agreement or the content of its discussions, the content of any of the provisions of the agreement or any other related matters as well as any information concerning the virtual livers belonging to party A that comes from party B's knowledge. So this only affects her. This would only affect her negatively. Like the thing she said on that stream, on that power stream, she would only be negatively affected, if I'm getting this correct, if she signed this. So since she didn't sign it, she doesn't have any confidentiality agreement with them. She doesn't have anything in regards to uh, her not being able to say anything. She can say what she wants about this, according to what I am seeing here. Article four, prohibition of slanderous or defamatory acts. After the, the, the execution of this agreement, neither party A nor party B shall slander or defame the other party, including the first party's officers and employees. This may have hurt uh, Nidhi Sanji because a lot of what they wrote in her uh, graduation notice was defamatory. In my opinion, it could have been seen as defamatory, but also Sayu saying anything that she's saying now or saying anything, I mean, like Zion saying anything that she said now and anything that she said when she graduated would have negatively affected her because she wouldn't have been able to defend herself. It would have been seen, even if true, it would have been seen as slanderous or defamation in court. And because she would, if she would have signed this because of the signature, they could have taken her to court for this. The slanderous and defamation, defamatory acts Stipulated in the preceding paragraph shall include any act which party B agrees with or encourages words or actions that undermine the social credibility of party A or the virtual livers that belong to party A. So her mentioning that she was um, mistreated by the livers, her saying, you know, all of this happened was true. Uh, when uh, Selene ended her contract, any if anything with her saying, hey, you know, I, I, I you finally feel my pain. You know, I, I'm seeing that I'm sorry that this happened to you. I'm sorry that they did this to you that type of thing, it could be seen as a slanderous act as well. This is very, very, very restrictive, which is why her lawyer specifically told her, do not sign this. 
Her lawyer told her, this is not good for you. It is useless. If you sign it, it will make you useless. It'll make it so you can't say anything. Do not, for God's sakes, do not sign this. She was smart and she didn't. Article 5. Compensation for damages. In the event that the other party violates any provision of this agreement limited to surviving provisions or any provision of, of the agreement that they're signing right now, uh, party A and party B shall indemnify the other party for any and all damages, not directly related to ordinary damages, but also lost profits, loss of business opportunities, business in interruptions, and other indirect damages in resulting th therefrom. So any thing that she wrote, her statements recently that she made, if she had signed this, she could have been on the hook for these two. She could have been screwed for these two. That is the, the main issue that, that is just like, it's crazy. That is why any sane lawyer would tell her, no, this is not something that you should sign. This, this binds you, this puts you on, in chains. This prevents you from your, 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 especially in the US, your freedom of speech. If you have um, any kind of complaints against the company, any kind of anything against the company, you cannot say it because this Article 5 will destroy you in court. Article 6, liquidation clause. Party A and B mutually confirm that there are no claims or obligations other than those set forth in this agreement between Party A, uh, including Party A's officers and employees, and Party B with respect to subject matters hereof, and confirm that they will not make a claim, including or a claim dis <coughs> disputing the validity of the termination of the MOU, any demands, any foul lawsuits, or any disputes, resolution procedures, each civil or criminal against the other party. So this would have protected them. It would have been a, a lock on anything that Sayu wanted to say, anything that Zion Lanza wanted to say, it would have locked them up badly. So this is uh, the bad part. And this is what people are responding to this. They're saying, um, yes, you can't legally slander or defame anyone, period. This doesn't need to be said unless, ah, so we're going with the little used, it hurt my Fifi's definition of slander and defamation. Yes, they put it there. Slander should include any act in which Party B agrees with or encourages words or actions that undermine the social credibility of Nidhi Sanji or other livers. <clears throat> and that's the issue there. They want, they don't want their Fifi's hurt. They don't want themselves to be miss, I don't know, seen negatively in any kind of light. And it says down here, I have little legal knowledge about this, but from what I've seen, and what I've been hearing over the past year or two, that's just Japan's slander laws, according to Japan. Yes, it's true. It's a threat. If you do not sign, they'll do everything within their purview to attempt to ruin your reputation and future work opportunities, which is more or less what happened. Yes, this, this one's basically saying, uh, if you sign this, then we can't say anything bad about you. But if you don't sign this, we will be saying everything bad about you. That's what I got from this. I may have gotten it wrong. Of course, let me know in the comments below if you are you know, watching this and you want to correct me on some things that you feel I've made a mistake on. They attempted to cover everything in the contract, yet they overlooked a basic aspect that if somebody does not sign the contract, then the VTuber has a copy of it and can show it to whoever they want. Yeah, because they're not tied to any confidentiality that the contract would have because, hey, it's not signed. Same thing with the other contract, the big contract, this contract over here. Since it's not signed, since there's no signature on this, this is technically not breaking NDA, technically not um, breaking any confidentiality parts. It's technically not doing anything wrong. Of course, they attempted to cover everything. Let's see, if you actually want to keep the contract secret, you make them sign an NDA before receiving the contract. So even if they decline, they can't disclose information about it. But Nidhi Sanji is known to be lazy. Nidhi Sanji is known to be just, uh, like they get NDAs wrong. They get the names in the NDAs wrong. They get all these other things in the NDAs wrong. So they're pretty much being the lazy little bums that they always have been. And uh, the lawyers are either underpaid or they have some kind of like um, law clerk do it for them or someone just, you know, uh, that can do it online or maybe looking at a form online, maybe looking at that type of stuff online and they just kind of uh, add things within there. It seems like they really are not doing much in regards to uh, making sure they're, they don't get these things leaked, which is hilarious. Also, Niji forces livers to move to Japan so they can enforce more of this type of contract. Truly disgusting. And that's where, I'll, you know, that's what I think. It's just disgusting. Wow, only an hour. None of the F. Do you expect us to sign her to just blindly sign? Uh, based on a provision in the current contract, blindly signing this means expected way to do business. Uh, also, as a rem reminder, this is the same company who thinks taking longer than 36 hours to check the rights for their own IP is totally reasonable. But giving someone more than an hour to read through a signed document isn't. So yeah, it was even worse. She said three hours. This is saying one hour. Maybe three hours since she received the Je the Japanese version. And of course she was going to want an extension. Because it's freaking an hour. That's crazy. The yacht, the yacht is navigating in a sea of S.
read through this document thoroughly, but you have one hour to comply and sign. Yeah, that's the craziness of it. And that is all we have for the Sayo document. It does look like they really tried to uh, sugarcoat it, like sugar it up so that she would be like, oh yeah, they can't say anything bad about me. But then she couldn't have said anything about herself. So, of course, comment down below. If you have any, any input, anything having to do with any of that kind of stuff, um, let me know what you think. Let me know uh, if you want more of this type of stuff. Let me know what you want in the comments. Let me know what kind of in you know my community posts and stuff like that if you have any ideas of any other things you want to take a look at i appreciate that of course take a look at my socials down below and the video that i have on the screen right now or it will pop up very soon uh those are things that i might think you might be interested in thank you so much have a wonderful day guys Bye bye